Hello and welcome to Tool Lifecycle Management 4.0, in line with Industry 4.0 using integrated tool data management solutions. Everybody is talking about Industry 4.0 these days, right? It's almost too much. It's like a hype. But the benefits, the basics are here to stay. Cost savings, time savings, productivity gains, efficient small batch production, mass customization, all here to stay. And it's only possible with digital manufacturing tools, such as tool data management. So if you have a couple minutes, let's talk about how TDM, how TDM tool data management is in line with Industry 4.0. I know when we talk about Industry 4.0, it always sounds very, very easy. But you all know it's not. Because the manufacturing process is not a uniform, smooth manufacturing circle. No, it's more like individual systems, brands, databases, double data entry, island solutions. So it's not standardized, it's not plug and play. And wait, there's more. There are other people, different, different skills, different language, different culture. So to keep a long story short, instead of a smooth manufacturing circle, we have more of what I would call a manufacturing puzzle. And this is our goal. Our goal is to solve the manufacturing puzzle with standardized TDM software modules, brick by brick. So again, if you have a couple minutes, listen in. And let's talk about how this all works in real life. Hey, it's Sarah. How are things going? I am sitting here in our manufacturing plant in Tübingen and I have a problem. We have a new order, a big order, and since you're not here, it's like a total chaos. I don't know where to start and how to start. Actually, I just have to get started somewhere. We need to order the tools, plan time on the machine, get all the information together. So many things to think of. I don't know whether I'm coming or going. Hey, no problem. Breathe. You have a TDM tool data management system in place. All the necessary information is at the tip of your finger. Nothing to worry. And remember, you got a similar job last year. That makes things even easier. Just start TDM, the base module. You manage all our items, components, tool assemblies, fixtures and the jobs in there. It's the brains of your manufacturing. In TDM, you can find everything you need. For example, the recent job with all the relevant information as a starting point. This is a good example how TDM is used on a daily basis. You manage all your tools, assemblies, jobs in TDM. And TDM with its unique modular concept is both scalable and flexible from a small cloud-based solution for your Melman pop shop until a big, large global tool life management database for the multinational corporation. Just look at TDM as the building bricks for your manufacturing puzzle and the starting point, the foundation, would be the base module. Robert, first of all, thank you. Great, I found everything easy as you said, but there are a few changes. We've got the new Milton machine and we still need to modify the NC programs. And we need new tools with the drawings. Oh, and before I forget, we don't have the 3D models for the new Vericut simulation. Well, still no reason to panic yet. You have all the major tool catalogs in TDM. You can just import the necessary data, including 2D graphics, 3D models, the speeds and feeds. And just in case some of the vendors don't offer proper tool data, which sadly enough still happens too often, use the 3D graphic generator and designer to create all the data for all your systems, the 2D, the 3D, speeds and feeds for all our systems, CAD, CAM, simulations right from scratch. We did lay the foundation. Now let's add the first bricks. The facility and maintenance management module, for example because we want to make sure everything is ready and A-OK -okay whenever we need it. Or the order management model, which is like a little small ERP system in itself. You manage stock quantities, you manage vendors, you reorder, manage your orders, everything in one module. And if you already have an ERP system in place, such as SAP, you can connect it through an interface. Or for our IT guys, we have a lot of unique tools to manage data, to manage the database. For example, the new modular flexible Excel import. So you just need an Excel list with all your tools, the tool names. Actually, you just need one column with the article number. 
You import the sheet into TDM. TDM automatically pulls all the necessary information, 2D graphics, 3D models, speeds and feeds from the tooling vendors. Data entry has never been easier. And in case something is missing, use the graphic tools, the generators. These are tools in order to generate new graphics, new modules from scratch, developed and tested by the TDM data service team. All these tools are really important because the tool data management system is only as good as its data. Robert, good news from Germany. Everything is in the database and we are all set. Teeny tiny issue though. John and Maria, our NC programmers, want to use the new Ubercom software. Any chance this is possible without going back to square one? How can they get the information into the system? Uh, nothing to worry. You're done. You did lay the foundation. The information is already in the central TDM tool database. All the external systems get the information through interfaces. It's as easy as one, two, three. Your CAM systems, for example, have new TDM AME interface directly to the central TDM database. The CAM programmers don't even have to leave the CAM environment. They pick the tools or a tool list and all the tools are transferred into CAM with the 3D models, the speeds, the feeds. Then they do their programming and as soon as they're done, they save the job, tools are transferred back into TDM and everything is done. As mentioned, TDM Systems supports the entire manufacturing circle. We supply external systems with information, we gather information. This is the connection to the manufacturing world. Interfaces. Quite a few bricks to play with. This is really fun. For example, the connection to the CAD CAM world. Great benefits right here. You should look up other videos we have on this specific topics. But not just in the programming world, also when it comes to planning. Interfaces to ERP systems, for example. To check stock levels, to manage orders, manage vendors. Or of course, MES systems. MES systems use jobs in TDM in order to do the scheduling on the machine. Or in the tool crib. Yeah, we use vending systems or shuttles to organize, to automate. And you can get an RFID system like a barcode or chips on top of that to keep the operator completely out of the loop. And then of course in the tool crib, tool presetting. We supply presetters with the nominal data and tolerances. And then we receive the offsets, which in turn we send to the machine with a loading list, unloading list or the NC program. Okie dokie, made it that far and it didn't hurt. Who would have thought? We got ready for production in no time. We've got the documents, the NC programs. Theoretically, we are ready to rumble. Any last minute suggestions? How many copies of the shop floor documents do you usually print? What? Printouts? Paper? <laughs> Think of the environment. The headline is Industry 4.0. Nothing has to be printed. You're all set. The TDM Toolcrib module manages the entire crib. Your guys and girls in the Toolcrib, they just select the job and then they get all the information. The vending systems and the presetter, they are fully integrated. So they just have to work off their to-do list in TDM. And even better, the new mill turns, we use RFID tags to transfer the data from the presetter to the machine. So nothing to worry about. Sit back, relax and have a frozen yogurt. It gets serious now. We're leaving the planning stages onto the shop floor. This is where the money is actually made. Now we rake in the benefits from proper planning and tool data management. In order to make sure we have everything when we need it, we have support modules like the fixture module or gauge and calibration module. And then of course, tool grip management. The tool crib module is the central intelligence, the brains of our manufacturing. It supplies the entire shop floor area with information, like allocating components when we have to assemble tools, provide information to presetters or to the machines. And when a job is done, tools come back to the tool crib, we decide whether to 
reuse, regrind or throw them away. Yeah, everything's done. Job is running and the first parts were good. When do you think our guys should check for tool changes on the machine? Should we prepare spares? I don't want our night shift to run into problems. Valid question. Luckily, you invested into the new TDM shop floor manager and you integrated all your machines into the TDM tool life monitoring. So the system basically takes care of itself. Schedules tool changes, notifies your team and if you want, you can keep track of it. Just open the TDM dashboard and check what's going on live and in color. There you have all the necessary information. You can see the tool changes, the cost time savings. It's kind of like a balanced scorecard for your manufacturing. Just out of curiosity, since when is our new presetter in the TDM shop floor workflow? I don't remember paying TDM to come in and make the changes to our system. Yes, your manufacturing manager did actually change the workflow by herself. With the new workflow editor, this is one of the great new features in TDM Global Line. You can create your workflow by yourself. It's super easy, just per drag and drop. With the shop floor manager and machine tool connect, we close the loop. This is industry 4.0. We create data, we collect data, we manage and analyze data, we make sure that data flows around the entire shop floor. My highlights, the live machine connect. We monitor tool life directly in the machine so we can predict tool changes or analyze the machining process. Or of course, the unique workflow editor in our new shop floor manager. You can create your own workflow very, very easily, just by drag and drop. Nice presentation, but wouldn't it be better to see it live? Sure, just send me a quick email and we can schedule an appointment or visit us at one of our upcoming events. Just check on our homepage for dates and location. See you soon, Sarah. Okay, see you. Bye.